I've seen several videos on how to hook up a generator to temporarily power up the house and uh, some commercially some do it yourself uh, mine is a do it yourself but I've never seen one quite this way and I think it's easier the first thing I did was put in a little pad next to the house where I would set the generator just so it's sitting level proper lubrication for the engine then the next thing that I did I uh, just went and bought an outdoor service box and a 12 gauge extension cord and uh, cut the end of that the female end of the cord off and drilled a 3 8 hole in the house and ran that through and mounted this box to the outside so generator will sit on this pad a short extension cord will hook into there and we'll show you what it does in the house in preparation for this I unhooked the hard wiring on my furnace and replaced it uh, with this male plug and on the end of the Romex mounted this duplex outlet so the furnace is plugged into that running off of house current in the event of a power failure I can just unplug this and this is the other end of my extension cord that runs in from the outside from the generator and plug that in the furnace into that and I'm ready to go with power that generator has plenty of power to run this furnace so I can also introduce this three-way adapter into that plug the furnace happens to be sitting over a closet on the main level so I drilled a hole down through the corner of that closet uh, if I choose to I could drop another extension cord or two down into the basement and plug them into the generator cord and run a lamp or two a TV computer that type of thing um, and I've got about 40 bucks 45 dollars in this whole setup so it's cheap and economical and it's safe um, no suicide plugs or anything like that and I think it'll work out very well for me just wanted to share